Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and I give you most authentic and very reliable information in a very simplified language directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library. So you can trust the information given on my videos. So today I'm going to give you eight facts about ulcers, peptic ulcers, stomach ulcers, duodenal ulcers. So we are going to talk about eight facts, eight tips about these diseases, this ulcer disease. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So ulcers are sores that frequently affect the stomach and the first part of small intestine, which is also called duodenum. Bacterial infection is actually the most common cause of duodenal ulcers. The main lower ulcers, the most common reason for them are bacterial infections. Stomach ulcers are often a side effect of painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs, which is primarily sometimes used to treat pains. Most commonly of arthritis, patients with arthritis take a lot of painkillers. So they very commonly have stomach ulcers. So these stomach ulcers are most commonly because of side effects, but they can also be because of infections. Alcohol ingestion, cigarette smoking, emotional stress. These can also actually influence the development of an ulcer or interfere with its healing. That means if you are taking alcohol, a lot of cigarette, a lot of stress, then healing of these ulcers will get delayed and you will have problems of such ulcers more often. Why? Because alcohol is an acid, cigarette smoking is always bad, emotional stress obviously is very bad. The most common symptom is upper abdominal pain, upper abdominal pain, but in many ulcers, they might have no symptom at all. Ulcers may be hemorrhagic, they may bleed. The bleed will go directly into the intestinal tract, into the GI tract and this results in blackening of your stools. The, it will, the blood will get mixed up with your stools and the stools color will become black like tar. It becomes tarry. So black stools are an indication of bleeding in the upper GI tract. This is a very serious condition, very serious ulcer disease may also sometimes cause a blockage between the stomach and small intestine. This is also a complication which will result into vomiting, persistent vomiting. Severe pain results from the most urgent complication of ulcers, peritonitis. Very, very severe pain can result in peritonitis because the ulcer can actually tear through, go and through and through, through the stomach or the intestine or the duodenum to actually, it can open into the abdominal cavity and then the stomach acid and stomach contents are actually falling into the abdominal cavity causing inflammation of the peritoneum peritonitis and this is actually an acute life-threatening condition where you will need urgent surgery. So ulcers are not a simple thing. Almost all ulcers can be treated successfully usually without surgery and many ulcers can be actually prevented. So what's the treatment? The treatment of ulcers include antibiotics and agents which neutralize the gas, neutralize the gastric acid and reduce the acid secretion. These drugs, these drugs include antacids and there are many types of these drugs, but the basic idea is same. So we neutralize the acid which is present in the stomach or we reduce the acid secretion by medications. 
there are other drugs which strengthen the resistance of the stomach and duodenum as well so these are the only three types of drugs which you can use on ulcers and ultimately you have to avoid painkillers you have to avoid anti-inflammatory NSAIDs so as much as possible you avoid them get your vitamin b12 checked and if you have a vitamin b12 deficiency that predisposes you to ulcers and many other problems even nerve problem many other problems so you need to correct that as well so that's all about the eight facts and tips about peptic ulcer disease or ulcer problems i hope you like the video don't forget to watch other videos on my channel everything ex is explained in simplified language and the most authentic information don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and let me know how you like the videos by commenting on the video so till next time i'm dr paramji those who don't know me i'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in yashoda super specialty hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and you can talk to me by commenting on this video and you can even consult me online my consultation information is given all in the video and as well as mentioned in the descriptions so that's all for today guys till next time keep watching my videos stay connected stay healthy